Hi my lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a great video. Um, this is gonna be my Friday favorites, weekly favorites. Now I know I didn't film one last week, so we'll call this uh, by weekly favorites. Um, I have everything right here laid out in front of me. I did a little bit of change of background. I'm trying different things just to see what looks better um, <clears throat> and see what appeals to my subscribers more. But uh, today, actually, I filmed a video, and I filmed my weekly favorites. I actually applied them. And then when I was about to edit my video, I found out my sound had been turned off. So, let me make sure my audio sound is on. Okay, yeah, my sound was on. We're ready to go. So, I'm excited about this week, uh, this week's weekly favorites, or bi-weekly favorites, as I said. Um... I'm a lipstick junkie and I think I have like so many lipsticks that I've been rotating. These lipsticks have legit been in my purse for about a month and this is what I use when I need to pick me up and I'm at the store and I just grab for whatever's in my bag and put it on. So there are it's specific type of uh, specific type of lipsticks. So sorry, I'm just trying to look at the viewfinder, make sure everything's okay, make sure I look appealing to you all. Because, I mean, come on, right? <clears throat> Anyways, okay, let's get started. I'm going to go in the order that I apply stuff on my face, as usual. All right. My first favorite has definitely been the way I have been uh, using my primers so that my makeup can go on flawlessly. I have been using my uh, Boots Expert Sensitive Hydrating Serum right here. Um, it has been a favorite. I purchased this at Target. Focus. I purchased this at Target. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sick, so I apologize. And then this whole lighting thing here, too. Uh, it's going to take a while. Anyways, I apologize. I'm sick, but I really wanted to film for you guys, so I'm fine. If anybody knows that reference, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I've been using this Boots Hydrating Serum. Uh, I just had it there because my face has been really, really dry, so I'm applying this morning and night. I can't say that it's doing miracles, but it's been working with the primers that I've been using, so I've just been using it. Um, and any serum, you know, we can always use serums on our face. So that has been a favorite of the week. Second, I have been applying this sample that I got in my Sephora Play Box. This is a Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer right here. Um, it's very hydrating, and my skin has been very, very dry because of uh, the weather definitely down here in South Texas it's been hot it's been cold and this with my serum feels really really hydrating on my face and I'm normally oily so uh, that says a lot about these two products that I'm using combined third what I've been applying on top of that now this is also a primer like that Smashbox one but I like this because it has SPF 30 and I'm a big SPF fanatic I will wear SPF all the time on my skin and um, this is my Maybelline Master Prime Face Studio primer and it's this right here and um, it blurs and illuminates it does have like a pearl essence pearl essence uh, opalish kind of no not really because it's not as white as the hourglass but anyways excuse me it's got a pink tint to it and pink pink tint to it but uh, I like it combined with all that stuff and then as usual my ride or die is my elf hydrating under eye primer I love this stuff I heard that Smashbox actually has one but why am I going to spend so much more money when this three dollar one from the drugstore works great for me and for what I consider my under eye lines um, so yeah this has been always y'all know I've been mentioning it like religiously and it works for me okay anyways next oh my gosh I just drank uh, some Zyrtec, so hopefully this will start uh, going away. Next, uh, I love my Beauty Blender. It's $20 at Sephora, but I caved in and I went and I got the two-pack Real Technique uh, sponges. Um, I like that it's rounded right here, and then it also has this flat surface right here. I've been applying my foundation with this side, 
you know and then this side I use it for my concealer so that little tip um, gets in there in the corner of my eye and I got this pack for 10 bucks, two for 10 bucks. Beauty Blender cost 20 at Sephora. I got these at Ulta and I really have been liking them. I had purchased them like about a year ago and I didn't really care for them, but I was like, you know what? Let me give it another shot and let's try it out. And I have been loving it. So I've been using this baby for about two weeks now, okay? Oh my God, I need to stop doing that because it's annoying, right? So sorry guys. I'll try and edit out all the throughout the video. Okay, let's get into the fun stuff. Makeup. For foundation, I have discovered, I have not discovered it, I have rediscovered it in my collection, and that has been the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. I am in the color medium beige, and it's just been applying beautifully on my skin in combination with what I've been using. It's been working for me and my oily skin, well, right now, dry skin. Um, and I've just, I've been loving it. I just rediscovered it and it's been working great with the products I'm about to mention next. So this right here, oldie but a goodie. It never fails. It is my ambient hourglass lighting palette. It's a three in one. Uh, this color right here, I've been applying it all over my face as a setting powder. This one here in the middle, I've been applying it with my beauty blender. What I do is I grab it and then I put it, do you see how illuminated this area is right now? I've been applying it there as my under eye setting powder. Now I'm not gonna say it's the best because I know that I've been talking about my Ben Nye powder and I've really been liking, loving that, I should say liking, I should say loving that. But this right here, I, have, I don't have to use a yellow, uh, a yellow, uh, concealer or a highlighter pen under my eye to brighten. This right here alone brightens like you have no idea. Let me see if I could. See, I mean, it's just like kabam right there. So what I do is I kind of use it all over here and that takes care of my highlight right here because it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, white color and it just takes care of that highlight right there. I don't need to add additional highlight. And then I've actually been using this color too. I go in with my favorite contour brush, which is by Real Techniques, and I've been grabbing that. I'm just kind of doing a light contour right here. Nothing crazy, nothing major, just bam, 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 boom, 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 boom. I've been loving that. So I've been using this palette. I've been in and out of the doctor's office a lot, and this has been my go-to for fast, quick, and easy uh, makeup application. Next for blushes, oh, I just spit, <laughs> is my, again, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. It's this right here. This is my favorite color because it's a peach. This is a mauve, and this is more of a rose. Um, <clears throat> it just depends what lipstick I'm gonna be wearing, really. Uh, and I'll just either decide on these two colors. This one's hardly touched and I don't know why. It's just not really my kind of color. It's like a rose mauve, but like a deep plumber. It's like a brown mauve. Weird. Anyways, beautiful. That also has a real nice sheen to it. And the only thing is if you have super oily skin, make sure you wear a mattifying primer because this will give you a little bit of a glow. And if you're already oily and then with this, it might just make you look more oily, so please make sure you use your mattifying powder, your oil-free mattifying primer on your skin before you apply anything that's gonna have any lo any uh, glow or luminous, luminous to you. Okay, next I have been going back to my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers right here. These are my favorite, favorite in the whole wide world, guys, like for real. They're expensive, they're $29 a piece, and thankfully, my husband is the most amazing man ever. And for Christmas, he gave me a great, great gift card. Gift cards, Sephora and Ulta. Oh my God, did I just do that on camera? That guy didn't see that. So I'm able to go buy these again without cringing, like, oh my God, I'm gonna spend $60. But I should say, I purchased the colors Custard and Ginger. Ginger matches me perfectly. I absolutely love Ginger. It camouflages perfect. Custard highlights, but I don't think I'll repurchase custard again, only because of the price. And I have other 
drugstore options that I could use for highlighting. So I will definitely repurchase this because I am almost out. I'm like scraping it. So definitely a buy. Uh, next for eyeshadows, I've been going to one palette only, although I have like a gazillion palettes. I've been going and grabbing my Anastasia Self Made palette right here. And I've been going for this color. It's this beautiful gray. I've been using a lot of gray and pinks lately and pink champagne along with metallic plum. But mostly this color right here is what I've been using uh, for my eyes. You can see it's just a real pretty gray. I like grays with pinks, which is actually what I'm wearing today. I used all these products today, so I wanted to show you all my weekly favorites live or in action on my skin. Been loving that. I got this at Sephora. Some things that deserve honorable mentions that I use over and over and over again, and those include some brushes. The first brush that I use almost on a daily basis is my Sigma Duo Fiber, which is a stippling brush right here. I use this to apply my setting powder because it will apply a very light layer of powder into the skin. Okay, I use this with my beauty blender. What I like to do is I like to apply with the beauty blender first and then go back in with this to kind of take off any excess product, okay? Next, I like to use this Real Techniques brush, which is, it's actually a foundation brush, but I like to use it to contour because I like the tip. It's like super pointy and I like to go in and really define all the little edges around my nose and that works for me. Uh, the next brush would be my eyeshadow brushes. There are three, four. The first one is the Small Tapered Blending Brush. Blush, brush. This is an E45. This is by Sigma. You see how it's so tapered? And it's very, very little. And it works really great for making like that little cat eye here in the corner and then bringing it up and blending it. So that's what I use it for right here. Do, 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 do. Or when I really want a cut crease, which I normally never do, but if I ever do decide to do a like legit extreme, this is probably the, bl the blush I will be using. My other ride or die brush, honestly, I've had this brush for like 10 years. I know it's gross, right? I should buy a new one. This is my 224 from MAC. It, notice it's a, not, a lot like the Sigma one, except this one's a lot a lot thinner and taller. I love to use this for blending on my eyeshadow right here. Do you see this right here? This was created with this brush right here. Boom. Right there. Love that. One of my favorite, favorite brushes, the E224. I actually have about three of them, so that's why I don't go buy a new one. Um, my other back brush that I like is my 213. It's just a small brush like this. I use this to apply, pat the eyeshadow on my lid. That's what I use for that. And uh, then another honorable mention is my BH Cosmetics. This doesn't have a name. Excuse me, my throat is itchy. I, it doesn't have a name, but I've been using this a lot to smudge out my bottom line like this. And this I also use to bring out like that too. See those little lines like that? That was also created by this brush. I absolutely love it. It came in this presentation. Um, BH Cosmetics is super affordable and I, haven't really used the other brushes that I have from them, but this has been a favorite for me. Moving on to eyeliner. Um, I've been using this Marc Jacobs. I got it through the 100 points. It's Sephora. This is just their black eyeliner. It's one of those gel eyeliners. It's a legit black like liner. Like, hello. Super legit. I mean, it will not smudge, smear, water down anything on my eye, on my waterline, so I love this. Marc Jacobs, okay. Mascaras, I have been using my MAC Extended Play Giga Lash, Giga Black Lash, this presentation right here. I like the wand because it's very, very thin. I recently got eyelash extensions. I don't know if you can see them here. Uh, locally, if anybody's interested, please visit my friend Clarissa. She's with Organics Beauty in North McAllen. I love her work, love it. Uh, I've been going to her for a couple of years now and I just decided to go back. I got sick and tired of lash strips. So I wanted to go back to lash extensions for a bit. Um, and I've been using this. 
helps me apply the mascara on them without me tearing them off. It's a very gentle brush. I love it. If you have lash extensions, please check this out. And I've also been using it for my eyelashes on the bottom. All right, moving on to lipsticks. One lip pencil that I have been using a lot has been my MAC Pro Longwear Posey Perfect. This is it right here. This is a color. It's just a really pretty pink. And so I've been layering this a lot with the following lipsticks, which is what I'm wearing today. Uh, I've been using it with this L'Oreal color by, it's totally gonna butch this, Dotson's Nude. This is from the L'Oreal Nude Collection right here. It's a very sheer peak. You can barely even see it. Hold on, let me apply it over here on the back of my head. It's a very, very sheer peak, like very sheer. And then on top of this peak, I've been layering this Buxom color Look some lip gloss in Dolly. I've really, really been liking this. I got this in my Sephora play box. So what I do is I just layer it on top. Next has been, I, they, I don't know if they discontinued this and I'm gonna be really upset, but I did stock up on them because I really liked them. It's this Neutrogena Moisture uh, Smooth Color Stick right here. It's a very pretty peachy color. It's just a real pretty peach right here. I love it on my lips. Very, very beautiful. Neutrogena, just peachy, and it smells heavenly. The other lipstick that I've been using, that all of these, the following items are all gonna be lipstick, guys. So, so again, from that collection, and it's her nude, and I love it. It's a beautiful nude. This with any sheer lip gloss just gives you the most amazing nude color ever. Love it. Love it. It's I seriously have like five or six of them. I hope they don't discontinue them. And with that, I also have been using, um, see I have another one here, Eva's Nude because she's more of my skin tone. And it's a much more plum dark plum but still is considered a nude right here okay it's a little bit darker you can see jlo's is more nude this one's a little darker but i like it i really like it as well the next one that i've been using from the drugstore we'll continue with drugstore are by milani this is matte naked it's just a very muted <coughs> dusty pink right here this with a lip gloss again a very nude lip gloss looks absolutely amazing this color that i'm going to talk about is matte innocence which is this color right here it's a beautiful peach it's like peach and pink it reminds me of please me and peach stock combined if they had a baby that's what it would look like right there i love this milani super affordable as well the next are high end, of course, my uh, Revd, Reeved, I'm not sure. This is from the Ellie Golding collection right here. Beautiful presentation. It's a really nice coral lip stain right there. Really, really nice. Nice and shiny. And then I busted out my Chanel. Chanel. I feel so fancy when I wear Chanel. This is a color 74 in Parfait. It's a very sheer peak, guys. Super, super, super sheer right there. It's really pretty. I mean, it's like I said, these are all just like, I'm out, my lipstick came off, what am I gonna put on? And next, I decided to start using this one because I paid a lot of money for it and it's like, oh my God, I think it was like 30 some dollars by NARS from their Audacious collection and this is a color in Raquel. It's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful nude color, but I don't wear it that often and I need to start wearing it more. So yeah, I'm gonna show it some love. I know, right, I shouldn't be using it. It's $34. There was like $5 worth of product right there. Anyways, that is it guys. That has been my go-to makeup for the past couple of weeks, but 
because these past two weeks I've been going to the doctor a lot with my kids. I really have to like put on my face, put my face, my makeup face on. So it's the stuff that I picked up at one time or another and then I'm like, oh my God, I need to use this again. I have, honestly, I've been using my priming and Revlon Color Stay Foundation with the Hourglass stuff every time I go to the doctor. I've been loving it. It's just, it's just beautiful. It just makes your face glow like in a healthy way. And I'm oily, like I have oily skin. I used to have a lot more oily skin before I got pregnant. After pregnancy, it's I've been actually more dry now and more on the dry side, dry side I should try. Am I picking up a Sean Connery uh, action? Anyways. Oh my god, I lost my trail of thought. Okay, so I was pregnant, I was super oily before I was pregnant, and now I'm dry. And I have been using those powders and everything, and throughout the day, I do not have to blot or reapply powder. Like, my face is matte and pretty, and it just stays like this all freaking day, and I absolutely love it. It's, it's the best. Hourglass is pricey, but they do have amazing, amazing products. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please, if you like my video today, please give it a two thumbs way up uh, and share with your friends, with your family, brothers, sister, cousins, in-laws, not your brothers. That'd be weird unless you like makeup. Anyways, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Until next week, toodles.